So this is my um, outdoor power bank for my pergola. Um, I have lights and other things that I run in my pergola out in my yard and I need power. So this is what I built years ago. It has a 110 volt weatherproof plug right there, battery cutoff, USB, and inside of it you can see the inverter circuit and this is where the battery sits in this box and the battery is on my workbench because I have a problem with this battery. Um, let me change the camera and I'll tell you about it. So I went to go use this and um, the BMS had actually turned this battery off even though it was relatively, um, you know, last time I put it away it was fully charged so it shouldn't have been turned off. Um, so I had brought it inside, started throwing some current at it, and it woke up, and, and then it was nearly full. And I was like, so why were you turned off? Well, it was turned off because, um, and actually you can't see here, but pack three, the voltage was um, below three volts on pack three, while everything else was at four volts. Um, it's turned off now because I actually cut the fuse wires on pack three checking cells. Um, I was doing some troubleshooting, so that's why Pack 3 is currently um, turned off. But Pack 3 had self discharged, and there are some bad cells in Pack 3 here. So um, I started testing the pack. I cut the fuses and I started testing the pack, and I found multiple bad fuse, uh, bad cells. And I'm just at the point where I think I'm just going to rebuild this with fresh cells. I have I have boxes and boxes of fresh cells. I think I'm just going to build this with fresh cells and use a spot welder. Um, this was the older method where I fused everything um, and I soldered, but I think I'm just going to spot weld and build a fresh pack. I'll use the same BMS, same balance wires, same, uh, you know, holders. I'll just grab some fresh cells, pull out these old ones and uh, put something together, hopefully quickly, and uh, put it back in service. Um, so uh, hang around and let's build a fresh 24 volt pack. Okay, I've put uh, some MH1s back in the pack. I actually did one row less since these are actually much higher capacity than the batteries I took out. Um, the old batteries were I think 2200 milliamps and these are 3100 milliamp hours. So even with one less row, uh, this will still be a larger pack than before. So the fun part is always putting this cover back on. Let's see if we can pull this off here. Oh, almost. Excuse me, I'm getting in the way of the camera, but I have to I'm just trying to see what. There we go. There we go. Okay, this is on. It is a good idea to run a, uh, a set of zip ties through the pack um, to uh, just to hold everything together. Okay, let's begin. Um, this will be the main positive. I've cut a little extra nickel. Um, this is some 0.15. I've cut some extra nickel because I'll use this to connect to the uh, the actual silicone wire later. Um, I'll just bend it down out of the way. I have my uh, spot welder. This is the JQ. Um, I also have my BIFRC hanging around here. Um, but uh, this spot welder runs a bit cooler um, and still is a great spot welder. So I'll use this and if I need to use the BIFRC for like maybe the double nickel connections, I will. But this is a really good spot welder. Um, so let's begin.
Okay, that is, oh, I missed a battery here. Okay, that's a pretty good uh, set of spot welds. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse and do the rest. Okay, we are done. Uh, it's all spot welded. These are the series connections. Um, and in theory, this is our main negative and this is our main positive. And we need to attach uh, the BMS and the, the leads to this. But first let's uh, just check that we have voltage. 28.7, perfect. So the battery is finished. Um, and next I need to attach the balance leads and uh, re-put the, you know, reattach the old BMS here. Um, I'm going to have to kind of um, carefully put it, put it in since all these wires were chopped for a certain size. But uh, I think we can figure it out, so let me uh, see what's going on here. I attached the BMS, but then I, I realized I didn't uh, make the little connections on the main positive and the main negative on the backside. So I need to throw a little nickel on there and uh, make these uh, make these main connections here. And I'll just grab the uh, BIFRC spot welder quick. Throw it up a little past halfway. That should be enough to take this home. Okay, that's one set of positive connections. Okay, made those connections there. Let me flip this battery over. I still have this BMS sort of loose. It is wired up, but it's still sort of loose. And there's the uh, main negative I forgot to. Be careful with the battery that's this complete. Um, if, if this nickel accidentally touches any of these connections, it'll, it'll likely uh, melt just because um, this battery is now pretty much fully connected. Um,
Okay, those, those connections are made. So we can resume what we were doing here. So this BMS is wired here. And in fact, if I plug in my, my ISDT, we should see the voltage on every cell now, which we do. So that's perfect. So this is correctly wired. Um, now I just got to actually connect the main um, battery connections. I have this as a, let me pull this out. I have this as a main uh, positive and I have this as a main negative that I need to now connect to. Uh, I have in the past sort of wrapped this around and um, soldered it and I wonder if I might have to might have to do something similar because it's very it's always hard to uh, make the final connection from um, I'm going to push this through like that. It's always hard when you to make the final connection. Um, just because, uh, you know, this thin nickel uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't, there's no easy way to attach the wire to the thin nickel. Um, but I think that's a start. I might throw solder on that. I might, uh, I'll have to th uh, look at this for a second and see how I want to take this home and then this is the main negative which I got to run the other side of the battery push it out here and I have to attach it to this Yeah, let me let me try throw some solder on that and see if it takes solder and then we'll make some decisions if this is how I'm going to attach it. Okay, battery is finished. I connected the main positive and the main negative and then um, I did wrap the nickel around the bare wire and then flat it with solder and it actually took beautifully. Um, and then I uh, poured uh, hot glue in these um, sections here um, because... Um, you don't want the uh, you don't want the wire pulling directly on the nickel connection, so the hot glue is providing some stability. And I put a blob of hot glue on the on the BMS, and this battery is finished. And uh, we have uh, 28.8 volts. We can also plug in the balance leads and check the balancing. And I uh, could use a tiny balance, but these are very close. Um, so, um, this battery is assembled. I can rebuild my uh, my Pergola power wall, my outside power wall, and put this back in use.